Alrighty everybody, now it's time to get to work. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. I got some homework to do, not much. I'm gonna review my essay before I have to turn it in for my English class. And yeah, not too bad otherwise. So here's the first tote of my stuff that I'm starting to take out. I've done some good progress. I've emptied out um, these two drawers and then stuff from the closet. But as you can tell, there's still a lot of stuff to go through. So I think just for this weekend, I'm just going to carry this stuff out and then slowly I'll bring, be able to bring more stuff. So right now, today's Saturday. Um, and it's the weekend, so we're I'm working on moving out. Our last week of class was last week, and so we're officially done now. So now I'm just moving everything out. I'm very sorry, this vlog has been literally all over the place just because school has been so busy and hectic and getting everything through. But what I will tell you is that I will not be returning to UCR in the fall, unfortunately. As much as, much as I would love to, I will not be returning, and I'll explain why um, in, in a future video. You guys will see shortly throughout this whole process why I'm actually leaving. But besides the point, for now we do need to get my room into shape. So like I said, the side, the side I'm in right now, it's my roommate's side, so because he's gone I can walk all over the room. But there are some things that I want to start taking down just to make the move-up process a lot easier. The first thing we're gonna do though is put everything together. So I have like up here, I have a bunch of, I have like my suitcase, like cleaning supplies, a whole bunch of knickknacks. So I'm gonna take everything down, see what I still need, what I wanna toss, etc. And then we'll go on from there. And then from the closet side, um, we do have a, like a donation service um, here on campus. So they can, I can like donate any clothes that I don't want, of course. But um, I think I've already gone through which ones I wanna donate, so it's already been sorted. I'm just gonna pack everything in my suitcase for the clothes that I wanna take home for good versus what I'm gonna keep here just to you know, obviously make things more efficient. And then, you know, clear stuff up my desk, getting rid of all those little knickknacks and random things in here. So that's the plan. But the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye, I'm afraid, to my very little photo wall over here. I will miss you, photo wall. You are great. You're in the back of all of my videos. But yeah, so this photo wall is gonna unfortunately have to go just so I can start cleaning the closet and get everything out. So that's what we're gonna do. So I saw it on TikTok where some people were on Pinterest and they chose photos that they liked. I didn't have time for that and I was totally over it. So I got a collage kit off of Amazon. This is what it looks like, a pretty simple box. I don't have the link for it anymore because I got it so long ago. But you can easily look it up on Amazon and you can find collage kits. Essentially they have a bunch of stock photos like these um, but with filters. So like they all have the same aesthetic and that's what I put up on there. These photos I'm obviously still going to keep. They're just going to go in my room instead on one of the walls. Okay, so it's officially move out day. My camera died early when I was talking when I was finishing up my coffee but it's a couple hours later. Up, I put a bunch of laundry um, in the laundry room obviously to wash it. Make sure it's all clean before I pack it up. And then right now, I don't know if you can tell behind me, but we have this bin full of the stuff that was below right there and those cabinets. I'm gonna put some more stuff in here too. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We got a bunch of bags, a bunch of stuff everywhere. That's all, this whole desk and everything is gonna be cleared. Um, I'm probably gonna unplug the coffee machine and then take everything out. So yeah, it's the at the end. I know it's super sad I'm leaving UCR, but you know, all good things come to an end, right? It's like 105 right now, so as you see, I got the laundry put it back, and then I packed some in the suitcase too, um, just because obviously it's easier to take clothes out like that. Now I have to go to work, so I'm gonna change, go to work. I work on campus, but obviously you know today and tomorrow my like last couple days. So um, yeah, I'm gonna change, and then I'm gonna do my own campus job. Um, this is the current stash of what's coming, taking um, what I'm gonna take home tonight because my dad's coming to take all this stuff up. And then, as you can still see though, we've got a lot to do. Still, this I haven't even started, the closet and everything in here. All of this stuff also can be removed, so um, yeah, otherwise looking good. And you may be wondering why I washed 
the laundry when obviously I'm going home. It's because um our how Dundee's laundry system works and how all of UCR's laundry system works is that you basically have to put money into it, right? And so I left over funds and those don't roll over. So I'm like, I would lose the money. I might just wash my clothes. So I washed it and you know, that's life. At least it'll be clean now so I can put the drugs in my closet at home. Um, but yeah, then of course the desk is still left, so there are a couple of things. I unplugged the Alexa so she can't bug me anymore. Um, so there are a couple of things here that I, I can also toss. Alright, so, so far, as you can see, I've done a lot of cleanup. As you can see by everything behind me, we have quite a bit of a stash going on on my roommate side of just because it was easier putting everything on one side of the room and then this is what it looks like so far so this desk is done i'm just gonna clean up the bottom real quick and make sure it's all good to go and then the closet's empty i'm just gonna do obviously walk through everything and get the stuff at the top and then the only thing i've left is my uh, like bathroom and bath stuff so that'll i'll be obviously um keeping with me you know until the day of Alrighty, so so far as you can tell the majority of my stuff is on my roommate side of the room because obviously he's gone so i can do that i got the suitcase all of my junk and goodness the only thing left back there is just my backpack of course the trash i have to take out and then um just some clothes and things for tomorrow um otherwise pre centered those clothes i also have to move i just realized didn't think this through i need to move those to this side but other than that looks good so far almost done moving out Alrighty, i am back it is officially 9 20. I don't know if you can tell, I'm very tired, very stressed, very exhausted. A mix of emotions, also tired, also stressed. Have I said stressed already? Probably. Because school, like, I just, I just need to come down. doesn't breathe the exercises because I'm, like, all over the place. What I am going to tell you guys is that my parents came in, we got the blue cart, and we hustled everything out of here. Um, a huge tip I have for move-up day is do it at night. Like, it's 9 p.m. right now, and there's nobody here. Like, I'm so glad I did my par partial move out right now. And then since I work tomorrow morning, I'm going to say bye to all of my coworkers, and then I'll leave for good that day. So glad I did that. It saved so much time because there was nobody in the parking lot. No fighting over blue cards. They just had one blue card. We used it. Perfect. So that was a high, high success move in my opinion. And I think that's, you know, something you should keep in mind if you're moving out. Move out, which I know is going to be a long time for when you're watching this vlog probably. But yeah, and then if you want to take a look over here, literally everything is gone. I just have a couple of trash bags to pick up some like leftover dust and whatever. And then of course we got the my big Go Puff bag just to put like all of the other nitty gritty items. And then we have the stuff for my um, sheets and all of that. Um, but otherwise we are good to go. Um, it's official now. I don't think it's gonna really hit me until I get home and I see all the stuff I have to sort through and you know decipher. But yeah. The year is almost in the books, wild. Oh, I also have the suitcase still. So uh, we tried putting the suitcase in the car and it didn't fit. So the suitcase is coming with me tomorrow. Yes, I think that's everything. All right, see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. It's officially the last day of the move out, super sad. So like I told you guys last night, I have just these sheets that I need to be packed up. I'm gonna check through everything one more time that I haven't forgot anything. And of course we have my, my uh, backpack and other stuff over here. Um, but the freezer gave me a lot of issue. So I went ahead and dumped everything out, but there's so much water like still pooling up. So this is gonna be fun to clean up and take out. What do you guys think? This is what it looks like. The bed, the stuff's at the bottom, my dresser on my table. It's so sad to see it go, but this is what it looked like when I moved in. So it's definitely, definitely changed. And then this is the whole fridge freezer section. It's cleaned up. And these are my last remaining bits and bobs that have to be taken out. But yeah, other than that, we're good to go. I'm so the time has come to say goodbye. I'm trying super hard not to start crying, but um, yeah, what a year. I just want to say thank you to this room. Um, thank you to all the experiences I've had um, at UCR. See, there you go. So trying, trying to hold it in. I don't think it's going to happen. But um, yeah, I just, I've learned a lot this past year. Um, saying goodbye to all of my coworkers at work. That was a hard thing to do, but I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah. Just what a great year. Alrighty, so before I leave, I have to obviously give them back the key. However, I figured I would vlog this because it's very ceremonial. So here we go. Here's my Dundee key. It is officially leaving me now. There we go. There's my key. And in 
it goes into the envelope. And that's it. I'm officially gone. Wild. Alrighty, I figured I would vlog this. The room is completely clean. We got everything out of the way. If I'm forgetting something, well, too bad, so sad. But I figured I would vlog the final time I open and close the door. Here we go. Alright, goodbye room. Bye room, it was nice knowing you. Uh, yeah, I've had the time of life in here, and so I'll definitely miss it. That's it. We're done. That's my room, so goodbye. Bye, 2120. I'll miss you.